we made it to day one. It's windy out here. High wind warnings all today. No problem driving up and down the road. Uh, dispersed camping here, exit 233 on I-90, right outside of Butte, Montana. Um, got some vehicles going up and down, nice little gravel road. Free campsites, got some nice fire rings. Got people parked over here. Going up and down the road. This is uh, the end of September. We're trying to get through the mountains. And again, excuse the wind noise. I know it's there. Um, they're predicting three days of snow. And this is be the week of uh, last week in September 2019. I'm gonna try to come around the corner. There were cows all through here. And there be the wind. But here we are with Clark. We decided to go with this unit here because it was smaller and we're going to do a lot of smaller things, smaller places this year. Another great day on the road. Some days here. We have stopped at Homestake Pass. There's some dispersed camping uh, right off the interstate. Exit 233 on uh, Interstate 90. Right, uh, I guess it would be east of Butte, Montana. Uh, we are in bear country. We're up pretty high here. You can see some people uh, have been camping here. There's some trails you can go all the way back up into the mountains. Side by sides and jeeps. But uh, this is day two on our trip from uh, Spokane, Washington, that we enjoyed a great summer with. And we're on our way to Nashville. Today, <clears throat> we're going to uh, head to Miles City. Uh, Miles City, Montana. I don't think we can get all the way to Bismarck, North Dakota. We're gonna go up through North Dakota. But so far, the truck's doing good. Clark's doing fantastic. I still gotta get my uh, uh, settings set up on my MT50. It's, it's not letting enough charge from the solar go into the battery. So whenever I get a minute to work on it, We'll get that set up. I tried before we left, but uh, it didn't work out. I couldn't get one of the settings to move. But anyway, let's get on the road. Kim's inside getting everything ready. We're gonna close everything up and, and leave. They're predicting snow this weekend for three days. And uh, here it is about uh, the end of September, uh, 2019. So come along. Hey everybody, Daryl here. Uh, man, this is a great, great day. Uh, we drove from basically, uh, what was that, Butte, Montana. Now we're all the way in Terry, Montana, which is just a little bit uh, northeast of Mile City. But we're on Interstate 96 now. You can see that in the background. Interstate 96. You might be able to see somebody up there. But on uh, freecampsites.net, we found this little place. We thought we'd stop, stay the night here. Just cooked a nice steak. Making some ice. Got the generator running. It's a nice little place that somebody has made in the district here. Telling about what happened here years ago. It's just, it's beautiful. So we're now out of the mountains. The rain is snow. They're over that way, hopefully. Well, the rains may come this way, but at least the snow is going to stay that way. So that makes me drive a little safer. But uh, a champion generator. Burn like a kitten. The Chevy's doing fantastic. It's a great day.
Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, we're at another great spot for camping. You can almost call it boondock. We're at the Sumter National Forest in South Carolina, right off Interstate 26 between Columbia and Greenville. We're at the Brickhouse Campground. Now, you'll be able to find this on on uh, Google, or you can do it on the uh, internet, uh, Campendium or free campsites. But the cost here is five hours a site, or 250 with the Golden or Interagency Pass. And what we did, we used our America the Beautiful Pass, and it was 250. So we have stayed here for almost six days. So you can't beat that for the price. Now it's dry camping. Uh, you don't have uh, any uh, really amenities. You do have a couple vault toilets. But basically what this is, is a, a nice little area in the middle of kind of nowhere. Um, you see somebody's out walking the dog. They came in last night. You could probably put uh, any RV in here you want. If you want to bring your 40-foot Class A, you can do it. You want to bring a tent, you can do it. Let somebody stay in there in a van. But this is a really nice place. We're down over here. We got some tents over here and some other people got some RVs over here. These are going to be hunters. So I got a feeling they're going to be uh, deer hunting up here shortly. But I'm going to go up here and show you. I think we're at number 10. But this is a great spot. We're holding out here. We're getting ready to go to uh, uh, Charleston and Savannah. And the weather's been kind of rainy and stuff, so why go into Charleston, which is tough to find boondocking and stuff for us, uh, around Charleston. Uh, so we're going to have to go to a campground there. But we just held it out here for $2.50 a day. Instead of paying $50 a day down there while it's raining. We're since sitting in an RV while it's raining down there. So now that the weather's lifting, we're going to be pulling out of here today. So let me go show you the site. So here we are at site number 10. This is the site we chose. You can pretty well get in most all sites. There's a couple of them that got some low hanging branches. But uh, we're sitting here at this site. They're really pretty level. We got the camper right now plugged into uh, the generator. Still sitting in the back of the camper, the Champion 3100 slash 2800. Generator's still doing fine after all these years. Automatic start this morning. Kim had a little coffee. Got it plugged in. But they come with picnic tables, a fire ring, place to hang your lantern. Good little park, nice and clean. You can have your horses out here. Got it set up really nice and neat. We're gonna pull out today and head to Charleston. But it's a beautiful little area for $2.50 a day. I don't think you can really beat it, unless it's free. But again, it's been nice and quiet here, no problems. Highly recommended if you're coming from maybe uh, the Smokies, that's what we did, uh, down to Charlotte uh, via 40 and then Highway or Interstate 26. But we're gonna get on the road down to Charleston show you some more video down there gonna add some more stickers on the map the princess is getting ready to go so we'll see you down hopefully in Charleston 